in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today we reflect on the Gospel of the Wednesday of the seventh week of Easter. In today's Gospel, Jesus intercedes with His Father on behalf of His disciples. His hour draws near and He prays to the Father to protect them and help them to be beacons of light in the world. Today's Gospel reflection is from the Gospel of John chapter 17 verses 11b to 19. And now I am no more in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to thee. Holy Father, keep them in thy name, which thou hast given me, that they may be one, even as we are one. While I was with them, I kept them in thy name, which thou hast given me. I have guarded them, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition that the scripture may be fulfilled. But now I am coming to thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world has hated them, because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I do not pray that thou shouldst take them out of the world, but that thou shouldst keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them in the truth. Thy word is the truth. As thou didst send me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. And for their sake I consecrate myself, that they also may be consecrated in the truth. Let's read again and watch out for that word, phrase, idea, or thought to stand out. And now I am no more in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to thee. Holy Father, keep them in thy name which Thou hast given me, that they may be one, even as we are one. While I was with them, I kept them in Thy name, which Thou hast given me. I have guarded them, and none of them is lost, but the son of perdition, that the scripture may be fulfilled. But now I am coming to Thee, and these things I speak in the world, that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them thy word, and the world has hated them because they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. I do not pray that thou shouldst take them out of the world, but that thou shouldst keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. Sanctify them in the truth. Thy word is the truth. As thou didst send me into the world, so I have sent them into the world. And for their sake I consecrate myself, that they also may be consecrated in the truth. Next step, Meditatio. Here, we take that word, phrase, idea or thought that stood out and go over them over and over in our mind. The phrases that got my attention were, Keep them in thy name, that they may be one even as we are one.
Next step, oratio. Now take your word, phrase, idea or thought that stood out and the reflection that came from them and start telling them to God. Talk to him about your own feelings and emotions. Final step, contemplatio. You have spoken to God, now expect God to speak to you. God speaks even in silence. Be still, know God is near you. Now, let's end with a prayer. Lord, in your last hour, as you prayed for your disciples, you didn't ask for health or success or prosperity. You asked that they would be united in love like you and your father. Lord, it's so easy to lose focus of the community, especially in difficult times like we are in now. Help me, Lord. to put myself out there in love and service of my brothers and sisters to never put myself and my individual wants and desires over the needs of my neighbor give me the grace the courage to love like you loved amen glory be to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit amen